good this oh my god oh my pretty truck oh my god I cannot believe I overslept this morning hello my peoples sorry about this I overslept this morning I was supposed to be up at 6 o'clock had the combines going and everything else oh gotta check the eggs this morning I check the eggs real quick. Oh yeah, they're, they they full. They've been laying eggs like crazy. I ain't checked them in a couple days. Oh, oh, oh hey, okay. Oh, hey, give me that. Alright, eggs, eggs, everywhere, eggs, eggs. Well, my peoples, y'all been doing alright this morning. Well, in real life, I haven't been. And, uh, I think I'm getting sick again. I hate to keep on complaining about it, but, you know, it's part of life. Everybody complains. So why can't I, right? Alright, that's all the eggs. Uh, we're going to leave a truck right here. We're going to be bopping around. I want to show y'all something real fast. Oop. We're going to need Mr. Slow Butt here. We're going to get hooked to our trailers, but... I've been doing some chaffing off screen, well, mowing, and taking it. Look how big that pile's done got, folks. I've been pushing it all back. Real good. Uh, we're going to go get the combines and stuff going, but also, we got to take care of something here. we got to load us up some grain and sell it because we got two demands. And fast forward time and uh, as you can see our pigs really need to be taken care of we need to sell a lot of them to release a load of them today and uh, yeah let's swap over we don't have no loan we got 85,000 to the good all right here's a man sunfires that goes mad acres and corn at uh, Denton bakery I don't think I'm gonna worry about the corn. And some fires, we don't really have to worry about them. But, uh, I think I'm gonna do a load of each, y'all. Load of, uh, two travelers of sunfires and two travelers of soybeans. That goes Mads Acres. So, having saying all that, oh yeah, one more thing while I'm here. We need to get this going, folks. Let's see here. I know that lowers and raises the tail end. That lowers and raises the back end. Okay, it must be this one. There we go. We kind of play around to it to get familiarized with it. And then take this part pull it back up well, it's not wanting me to turn because uh, the heel there come on now baby come on oh, oh, oh. I had it I had it oh there we go this is my money maker, folks. As soon as that other silo gets full, we can start uh, defragmenting. And then when it gets done, we can do this. Right down into there. Look at that money rolling in. Alright, let's get our uh, combines going here. And uh, I didn't take the time to unload all that. I figured, you know. Ain't no sense driving up here when we got a little bit more to cut. We only got a couple of fields left. And we have. Should be. What is that? And he's got that in block. 17, I think. 21, 25. I'll get out here in a minute. There's 17, 21, 25, 28, and 29. So we should get that done today. 
Hopefully. Uh, I did swap out the animal trailer. We hold more animals now. I don't know if I showed y'all that last time. Uh, so yeah. Now where's my trailer? I got the weeder going over here. Uh, Alright, here we go. Turn my beacons on. Now we're going to go on down the road. Ease on down, ease on down the road. Don't you carry nothing that might be a load. Oh wait, I can carry some sunfires. Those are going to be a load. I'm glad I cut those trees away from there. Opened that place up. It's such a beautiful place. Come on, car. I'm going to fix that to pass you. Ain't got no time to waste. So we got a great demand. Oh, the old man in his old Ford Bronco. Sorry to cut him off, but that's what us farmers do. No, not really. Farmers are do, do get treated kind of crappy, you know. Big old machineries going down the road, they gotta get from A to B, quick as they can, or the boss man going to chill them out. And people just like, that turkey just cut me off. I'm, I'm gonna go tell his boss. And the boss gonna be like, well, you shouldn't been in his way. Yeah, yeah. All right, folks, we're here. We are here. I don't want to use all the sunfires, but I do want to take a quite a bit over. So let's just uh, see where we're at. Uh, um, am I doing something wrong? Hello. I am doing something right now, folks. Ah. No. I'm on the second one. Oh, I'm on. That should be the weight, and that should be the trailer. Whoa! Okay. That'll let me. Can I get that? Oh my goodness, it's still got shaft in it. That's why. Alright, we're gonna load up some sunfires and start. While that's doing that, I hate to do this, but uh, I'll load here. We'll come back and pick that up later. There we go. back up. I was wondering what was wrong. 54,000 we'll take a a little bit of that. You know we can always save some soybeans for the the pigs instead of canola because we can use either or. Say sunflower, canola, and soybeans. And we got uh, I hate doing that. Oh, I'll get going the wrong way. We also got canola too, so we're going to go ahead and sell all the sunflowers. Well, what we can get loaded anyway. That'll help us out. Alright, but 22,000 left. That won't fill that trailer. I want to take a maximum load over there. So let's take some soybeans. 
to this next thing. Oop. Guess I better feel it first. There we go. I'm going to try and watch the top right corner for the combines. I guess they're still going strong over. One, C. And A's almost done. Okay. We might have to check on A before we leave out. Let's go ahead and bebop over. Oh, folks. Look at there. We got two more. I'm thinking about loading it today. I swapped the trailer around so we can load it from both sides. Alright, here's... Here's this guy. And I should have uh, unloaded, but... We're going to be down here with the trailers anyway, so that's going to help us out. For the plus. So yeah, it's a good thing we got the demand. That kind of helped us out a little bit there. Oh, look at there. Back to go. Uh. Don't know why you're just sitting there, but okay. The auger wagon on up, and then we're going to be about to go back to the combine. Boy, that's doing that. Uh, put them back right here. Oh, wrong way. Wrong be about. Ah. Folks, I don't know, uh, You know, I've been telling you, I ain't, uh, I've been smelling some smoke the other day. And ever since then, I ain't been feeling good in my chest. And I, I should have got up and went to the doctor Friday. But I didn't. You know, trying to be a typical man, tough out. Sometimes, folks, that's not good. You know, even though we're, we think we're stronger than anybody else in the world, we shouldn't be that way because it could be something bad wrong with you if you're hurt, you know. Yikes. That's perfect timing. And, uh, not only have I been hurting my chest, I've been hurting my, my uh, left, left side, uh, right where my chest meets my belly. I've got a knot there. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how to say this. I mean, uh, I just, let's just say I've been hurting there. And it's kind of like a little small knot. Uh, somebody told me it's because I'm constipated. Yes, I know. Oh, kind of like something to be talking about, huh? But anyway. I don't know if it's that or not. It's just it just don't seem right. So I'm probably gonna go to the doctor uh, Monday or Tuesday. Uh, today is well, you'll be seeing this on Saturday about two o'clock. So yeah. All right, we need to hurry up and get this dumped. And we're just going to bebop around. It's probably be better doing it this way. Yeah, there we go. Alright, we are loaded. 64 and 64. So let's go sell this. Beacon zone. Headlight zone. And let's get on down to Julia Bocker. I wish I knew where I got that from. But that's alright because I'm on Boxer. Ooh, boxer. Box her or a box her. I like boxers, the dog, you know. 
Rottweiler, Golden Retrievers, Labradors. Yeah, I love uh, all dogs, but uh, I don't, know, uh, don't really know which one's my favorite. Not, my favorite, I guess you can say, is a lazy dog. One that'll lay in your lap. That's my type. But, you know, those type comes in many sizes. I have seen a lab that lay up in your, your lap and, you know, well, not really in your lap. He'll lay his head in your lap. I guess you can say I'm probably more of a cat. Yeah, I, I think I'd rather have a cat than anything. My daughter, well, my neighbor's got a, a cat. and uh, He was just born here a while back, and my daughter's been playing with it ever since it's been coming across the road. She'll pet it and stuff. And I think I done got attached to it, too. Uh, I can't remember what she's got it named, but, but she named it some girl's name, and I said, that's not a girl. Well, it is to me. It's going to be my girl. Oh, uh, okay. Which is really a boy, so I named it Garfield. And now when I go outside, that sucker comes over and gets in my lap. Meow. Meow. Oh, what do you want, Garfield? He'll just look up at me and... Meow. So I'll start petting it. But anyway, enough for the cat stories. Here we are, folks. Alright, we're going to unload here. I did go to the right place, didn't I? Why not Gomez? Yes, Gomez for the man. Look at that money rise, folks. 36,471. Kind of hard to see that. 33,000 for one trailer load, folks. Oh my goodness. Did that price drop on demand? No, it didn't, folks. 33,471. Uh, we want to start waiting for demands because prices don't drop. Demand. Let's see that price again. And it's still the same price. Watch this soybeans. Soybeans is uh, $1,002. Watch after this trailer load. Alright, 32077 for that. But look at those prices drop. When well, the demand, it don't drop. So that's good. We learned something new today. Right, I'm going to bebop around. What I thought he's almost done. Thirty thousand four hundred eighty four for that load. So we're at two hundred fourteen dollars. Wish we had more sunflowers, but the only thing we got left is uh, soybeans. And we're gonna stick the rest of them back. Whoa, we got um, not up there with the cruise control. There we go. Only thing about uh, this, folks, is uh, I think I pulled out in the road too much. You know, we don't have uh, you know, the bank account is paid off. So now the only thing you, you got to worry about, we got to keep money coming in because as we're working and stuff, that mo money's going to drop for payments and stuff and hired workers. So we're at 214000 So, you know, as midnight comes and stuff, it's going to take a lot away. And I, I did uh, take a snapshot of that, and I'm probably going to throw it in right here so y'all can see what's coming out at midnight. 
And it's not good, folks. It's up there pretty good. It takes a big chunk out. I'm going to park right here because there's the bridge. Right, he's keeping clean. He's keeping clean. Alright. He... Whoa. He has done all of that? Let me look at the map. Make sure he ain't uh, missing no spots real quick. Only thing we got left to do really is to hey he's got it all that way. That's what we're gonna have to start doing. That's back and forth this way right here. It seems like he got all of it. See what feel like I gotta do next? Uh twenty-four, okay. Oh I've been having one beater going, I've been doing some dishes on the side. Or jobs, I should say. Well, uh, coming out somewhat good. We're gonna let him get. Go ahead and hold in front of him if we can. It should block. Yeah, good. I know you're blocked, but we're gonna go out here and park probably right in here somewhere. Okay. All right. Then we're gonna go unload this dude real quick. But uh, yeah, I guess you can say I'm a cat person. But uh, now what what kind of a uh, vehicle person? Myself, I like trucks, uh, four-wheel drive trucks. My favorite truck I want is a, a Sierra 2500 HD, four-door. Um, if I could afford it, I'd like to have a diesel one. I don't know, everybody's like, well, how about the clanking clutter? I like to have the newer style diesel one that's it's it's quite like a gasoline one. You know, I probably regret in saying that, but and I would like to have the the thing of a bluish color. I got to unload him. Yeah, a blue or a purple. I think it was on uh. Coldbird Park Farms. I, I ended up getting a purple truck on there. And that sucker looks sweet. I only go past the six. Oop, oop, oop. Alright, there we go. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. We're on the last of the long rows. The harvest shouldn't take very much longer. So uh, after we get these guys situated, we're going to probably sell a load of pigs. I'd like to buy some more, uh, some more cows so we can get that price up there at midnight. Oh, I love it. Look at it. It came out perfect. A couple of places near us, but... I think we're alright. We can handle it. Alright folks, we just got this right here in front of us, that field there. And over we're uh Oh heck, I ain't say the names today. Uh I guess this one's blue and that nowhere is gonna be Jason. So blue don't like very much here. And Jason's Kind of she gets done with this field, Jason should be almost done with the other field. And I guess, uh, who we got on the, uh, weeder? Anybody know? Mm, I don't know. Let's go with uh, somebody we never went with before. 
Uh, let's use the name Carolyn. Uh, not Carolyn. Car Caroline. Sorry, folks. I can't say names very good. Caroline. C A R O L I N E. I believe how you spell it. All right, now. That ain't done yet. Uh, Caroline's going to be on the weeder. And, uh, let's see here. We need to get another weeder going. I don't know if we got a tractor down here. It's, ooh, almost done. Hey. All right, we do have another tractor. Ooh, folks. 48 hours. And, uh... Since Caroline's on the other weeder, it's, uh, sorry for all the girls' names, but let's go with Layla on this weeder. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm going to have to change out my controller batteries. Sorry about that, folks. I should have done that before I even started. Oh, I'll swap them out here in just a second because it usually it catches me right at the worst moment whatsoever. Oh, I can't hire right now. Oh, well, I will. That was gonna find it. We're gonna do the sheeps. Uh, her keep going. I guess. I wish I had them together. There we go. There goes Layla. There's Caroline. Should be done here in just a second. I need to yeah, get this truck zoomed up a little bit more. We still need a little bit of it. Here. Let's see, hope I'm going the right way. Oh, come on. Let me go right then. I'm going to be docked here in just a second. Go ahead and pull this guy up. Yes, I know, Caroline. You are done. Uh, I'm trying to find you. There you are. Alright, if I'm not mistaken, we have to go to. 26 here. Don't uh, uh, uh. you get for going too fast? All right, Caroline, go ahead and take off. I'm gonna stay right here just to make sure you pass this house, folks. We've been having trouble passing the house here for some reason, and of course I ain't gonna do it this time because I'm standing here watching. So, oh, you dirty little sheep. Okay. Go back this way. Ha, ah, there we go. Yes, I know, Jason, you are full. I am coming for you. If you can make it down to the end, that would be wonderful. And yeah, folks, it is 4.46 in the morning on the Saturday morning. Uh, I went to sleep kind of early. Uh, slept pretty good but I woke up feeling terrible I guess somebody was burning some trash or something I don't know but like I said my chest is hurting now I'm sorry I'm complaining but it's just gotta have somebody to talk to about it you know and taking my meds my meds are almost out so I guess I need to go back to the doctor uh, which I did get a letter in the mail the day he said need to come back in ASAP discuss some things wrong with you. I'm like, oh great, I never got one of those before. Mm. Alright, we got to get him unloaded before he gets filled up. Oh, 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 okay, good. Just, just a minute. 
for a second there. I thought, oh man, really? But, uh, I was wanting to do a, a live stream today. But since I'm feeling so bad, I figured I'd just go ahead and record it. Try to make it through it. Hey, I got 30 minutes of it done, so. Uh, 30 minutes to go, and I'm probably going to flop back down in bed. Um, I got to go to Jonesboro sometime today, or my daughter's going to kill me. Um, I got my son, uh, uh, what's it called, a Steam game the other day for his laptop. Uh, Scrap Mechanics, I believe what it's called. But I'll get back to that story here in a minute, but that's why we have to take her to Jonesboro. Like, well, what about me? Well, we do things for you too, what do you want? You know, tell us what you want and we'll try to get it. She wants her ear piercing. The uh, top her top right ear. She wants another piercing there. Yeah, I know she's kind of young, but why I see it, you know, I'm not going to be here very much longer. That's where I see it. Now people's like, don't, don't say that, don't say that. Well, folks, you never promise tomorrow. You'll never promise tomorrow. So make of what you got today. Because you might not be here tomorrow. None of us might not be here tomorrow. You have to live life each day as it's your last. Now, I ain't saying go to the grocery store or Walmart or something and buy every dig on piece of bread on the shelf and all the water and stuff. I ain't talking about that kind of thing. You know, things can happen at any moment. You don't know what's going to happen. I ain't saying it's going to be in the world. But I am saying, you know, you're not promised tomorrow. So you need to do every day like it is your last day. But not talking about like end of the world day. I'm talking about what if you have a heart attack or stroke or crash or anything like that. And you leave your family behind. I don't know it's depressing, folks. But it, it's something to think about, you know. When I was younger, I never did think about nothing like that. It was wham, bam, to the wall. Thank you, man. But now, as I got older, and I'm not old, but I am older, wiser. I do think I am pretty wise for my age. Uh, having said all that, you know, like I said, back in the day, I never thought about stuff that I thought about now. What happens to me if I go right now? Who's going to watch over my kids? You know, who's going to take care of my mom and dad? There's all kind of small stuff like that that goes through your head. Alright, our pigs... We just need to sell some of our pigs, folks. Yeah, we need to do that real quick. Get them loaded up while our combines are doing good. Ooh, I love this truck. Trailer's kind of square, but hey. All right, we can load up 38 pigs now instead of 21. So that's going to make us a higher income. Well, what are you doing, Mr. Blue? You said you weren't going to go back under 200. That's right, folks. I'm trying to get up under 200, but, you know, I'm going to go ahead and sell some of them now. Trust me, they'll be back up under 200 before you know it. Oh, my God, folks. I want to do a mission on that field right there. I want to try by that field, actually. Because it's right there by biogas. I know one thing I won't do no more for a while. Is mission on number five. That wore me out. I think that might be what's wrong with me. I'm lack of sleep. Because I stayed up so long doing field five. Because it's like 423 minutes long. 
and I've done it down to wow well, you just have to watch the video but I stayed up quite a couple hours doing that field besides the hour I stayed up recording and probably about 30 minutes rendering I was doing all that while I was doing that field well not the recording part but you know what I mean Oh, oh, yeah, I better turn my beacon on and my headlights on before somebody scolds me. Oh my god. That's going to be a good harvest. It's not ours, but we can do the mission on it. Whoa. Charlie, here's a little bouncy. Hope we don't shake those pigs up too much. Get us some raw bacon. I want some fried cooked bacon. Ooh. Speaking of bacon, it's almost breakfast time. And I know mom ain't got no bacon in there. I gotta go to McDonald's before we go hit the road and go to uh, get us a. Uh, oh, what is it called? T TLC or something. Something with bacon in it. Ooh, I know something. Go to Sonic and get one of their uh, Super Sonic uh, bacon burgers. Alright, folks. Uh, let's see here. Let's uh, go ahead and unload. We're going to sell these babies. They should have like load all and sell all but keep from wearing your fingers out. Check that out, folks. 38 pigs going to bring us $45,600. We are going to confirm that. And we are now up to $258,000. All right. We're going to leave our truck sitting there for a second. We got to go check our combines. Both our weeders are doing good. Let's see here. Yeah, that's just that good. Oh, it would be. I ain't that something. Alright, well, it's up. Combines on. Okay, both combines are good, so. Yeah. I'm gonna go unload this. This should fill that truck up. And when this truck gets full, we're gonna go dump it. Then we're gonna load up some corn. Take to the pigs. Go back this other way. You want to turn around and go back? I'm going to fix it where you go a little bit faster. How's that? We need some speed. Need for speed. I ain't played that game in a long time. Alright, he is full. I think I'm just going to uh, leave part right here. Go the other way, other way, other way. Catch him, catch him, gotta catch him. So far, I think this has been a pretty good episode, folks. Even though I'm feeling kind of bad, my stomach feeling queasy and stuff, hungry and everything else, I think this turned out to be a pretty good episode. I've been, uh, I've been talking quite a few things about y'all today instead of kind of being quiet and talking about nonsense. <sighs> I guess I talk so much now, I guess it gets my breath down and it makes me just feel weak. Or it could be my white blood cell because the doctor said they were low. I'm probably going to go today and get me some iron pills. I guess I'm pregnant, y'all. That's why I'm hurt. Boy, wouldn't we, we boo? I'd be so rich. I'd, I, I'd buy you and Jason a, a pickup truck or something. Nah, probably not, but hey, it never hurts to dream, right? <laughs> anyway, folks. Let's see. We're uh, 40 minutes in, so we got 20 more minutes to get 
this piece and that piece done. If we can't do that, something's wrong. I know, right? We need to do some oil, more mowing, but uh, I think uh, well, I'm gonna hold that thought to myself right now. Alright, uh, boo. Not, not. Who's there, Mr. Blue? Boo. Boo who? Oh, you don't have to cry, little girl. <laughs> okay, no, I ain't crying. That's old. All right, let's see. Let's circle around. Guess we'll get this truck back on. Well, let me just check, folks. I want to get a little bit more sheep. I think. I know I need more cows, but sheep produce more wool. So, uh, yeah. Ooh, it's going to take a lot of money to load this truck. Let's just see how many sheep we do have. 177. So we need what, about 30, 30, 23, I think, to have 200. I think my math would be right. Let's do 23. Oop. Is that one? Oh, wow. That's 92,000. Alright. Oh, well. We got them. Alright. That's a pretty pricely load of wool right here I'm carrying. But more wool, the more pallets, I mean more sheep we have. Let's see, I'm going to go cut across the field, hit the bridge here, and go up. And that should take it about right. Probably need to check on the combine to me. I'm just trying to get some of this stuff done while they're working there. So, uh, so yeah. Next time we do speed up. Oh, wait. I ain't changed up the big gun batteries yet. And I said I would. That'd be alright. I know, folks. I ain't being realistic by not staying on the roads, but Mr. Blue's in a hurry. You're trying to get some of this done for y'all. And since I'm already going across, I need to cut some of these trees right here. It'd be a good crossing point for the combines. That way you don't have to go all the way around. Uh, one of the heifers has completed her task. Okay. Uh, let me go ahead and get up to here anyway. That way I don't have to start the truck up again. I'd already be here. Alright, let's go ahead and offload these real quick. Don't want to leave them in the trailer like the uh, diesel did. Alright, confirm, yes. Bebop around. Oop. Okay, ain't that weird. Uh, ain't that weird, but it's recently done. Must be a combine. Yep. Jason's done. Woohoo! That's good, folks. That's kind of good. Now, if I can just get down there before my controller batteries die. Oh! Give me just a second, folks. It won't take this a second. Get right here in front of me, this ain't swapped to my. I knew it's going to come pretty close. Alright, there we go. 
Put my cover back on. And uh, by the way, in case y'all was wondering, the uh, batteries I'm using is from Walmart. They're the orange looking kind. You get two in a pack. Can't think of the name of them. So you get like a cable with them and uh, two batteries for like $19. Folks, y'all can't beat that. That's the best price out there, I think. We're down to one field, folks, in 14 minutes. I guess we can go uh, a quick watching uh, Elgato. Folks, I have uh, rearranged my Xbox where it's right here pretty much under me on my computer desk. And uh, I got the cord. I put a, a three-foot cord back on it instead of a 35-foot cord. And knock on wood, knock on wood now, I have not had an incident where it's been acting funny, so maybe that's my problem the whole time. I hope that's what it was. Alright. Yeah. You would be. Alright, since that truck's full, I'm gonna go ahead and Catch uh, Boo with fishing and uh, go dump it, and then we're going to pull the little auger wagon up. I might well pull all that stuff up because we're on our last field. Yay! The end of the harvest, the end of the harvest is here. Woohoo! Woohoo! I almost look like I'm a case dealer if you look at it from a distance. Let's see. Let's do it for the thumbnail, okay? Alright. Oh, hope I didn't get that in it. That's good over, son. Do it over, Mr. Blow. There we go. Feels like I'm gonna sneeze, but I can't. Maybe the sun will pop out and I'll sneeze. Y'all ever heard that saying? Hey, sometimes it works. You look at a bright light, but I don't think it's the light that's doing it. You you actually you're looking up, so it's throwing your head back, and I think it opens up your sinuses. All right, that dude's done. Or dude ain't done. Oh my god, I call Boo a, a dude again. What's wrong with me? She roasted my butt the other day for that too. So I'm a guy now? I'm like, no. Mistakes happen. Alright folks, I am going to park this dude like right here. And then, uh, wrong way. Good, decent. Alright. So we basically got two trailers there loaded. And the time we get done, we'll have more. Guarantee that. Dang, I should have pulled that button up. It would have been easier. That's how much straw we got left, folks. Straw's getting down there. We're going to have to plant some wheat down here this time. Yeah, I know. I hate it too. Okay. Alright. Uh, Layla's still doing good. We need to... Oh, yeah. Gotta get Caroline over here back to working instead of just sitting there on the end. I wish it was a sandy spot on this side of that river, but of course it's over there with the pack. That needs to be on down there a little bit so we can get water better. If uh, giants don't come off their booties 
thing get us a big water trailer for they, they could at least get like a 12.5 4,500 gallon or something like that anything bigger than 7,000 come on we're getting so many sheep now that it's going to start hurting us so we actually might want to start looking towards investing us a water spout close by drilling us well Alright, perfect. Um, let's take a look at our pigs. Too. Okay, see, so yeah, it brought our food and stuff back up. But we still going to have to get them some corn, like ASAP. And we got 200 sheep, folks. 200 sheep. Now we need to start working on our cows, getting our cows up there to 200. And they need some water. Okay. We're just going to load back up to your pitchfork. I'm going to wait until that shows one more pallet. Because I don't know which one's which. And, and as you can see, uh, our pallet's 82%. So one of them's 82%, not quite full. So, yeah. Let's see. I, I hate it when I have unhooked from him. And go over here. Oh no. Not not because I hit that folks. I forgot this trailer is out of water. Oh no. Yep, it's empty. Alright, let's uh check on our combine real quick. Oh, wrong button. Not quite, not quite, so we're good for a little bit. Okay. Alright. Uh, oh! Guess I need to move this truck. I need to go ahead and dump this truck, folks, and then I'll uh, go get the water. Because we need to load up some corn. Not much. Probably about half a trailer. Because we can always dump it in that one spot. Uh, oh. oh hey, I forgot about having turn signals. I went to turn my beacons on, but this truck don't have beacons. We are almost there, folks. Uh, got a couple little things we need to do. Ah. And then uh, next episode, I guess we're going to be planting. And doing some grass cutting and stuff, too. Alright, let's get back to our... Oh, there. Almost done. Alright. We're gonna have to empty this guy out uh, yeah, Jason out. We are almost done. Dun 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 Uh oh. No. Keep on going. Alright, let me get in front of you. Sixty-four thousand. Not bad. I hate to see it when I fast forward time now. It's going really, really get on up there. Alright, just about done. Alright. Tell you what, go ahead and go this way, that way I catch food, hopefully. Don't you, I don't want to dump you no more. Put five back in. 
go catch food, and then uh, we'll go get some water. Maybe. We'll have time to get it lit up. Though. Just get over here and get out of the way. Okay. All right. Just gonna move him out of the way. This is empty. And come on, we need our cow tractor. I think I better be closer going over here. Just my front uh, port, sir. I like to see if we can back down in here somewhere. I'm gonna try right over. I'm probably gonna regret it. Oh no, look here. Look you here. Oh hey. We need to uh, get that tree out of the way right there. We have this a perfect little spot. Yep, right there. See that feeling? Alright. Good deal. Well, Moves fast today, look at there. Alright, we got about four to three minutes left somewhere in there. And folks, I think that was a perfect timing. Yeah. About a round each on them, and they'll knock that field completely out. And then we'll go, uh, unload everything into the big boy over there and uh, take it to the farm shop silo and wait for a, a great demand on soybeans. Come on, any minute now. Any minute, come on. All right, good. And we can't beat that. But folks, uh, I have had uh, one or two people ask me, how do you play this game? Well, when you first start out, you got the option of using the equipment you got. It's basically what setting you got out. You get it set on hard, you're going to have to play hard to make it through the game. No if, ends, buts about it. Uh, if you're new, I recommend setting it to normal or easy. Because your prices and stuff higher. But, uh, I would set it to normal. But the object of the game, when you first start, you get the, uh, sad I gotta look at the map. You get 12, 14, and 15. You get, uh, I think it's 15 that needs to be thrash and then you have to plow and plant 14 and 12 and then 15 when you get it harvest and you just gotta keep doing those fields and save your money and stuff but uh, a lot of folks take their money and start buying fields what I do I take my money borrow from the bank get everything out that you can take your plow and your planter or not your plow but your cultivator and your planner, take them to the market shop, sell them, and then when you do that, you want to go and buy. Oh, that's tippers. Planters. You want to go and buy this guy here because he plants and fertilizes. This in here does plants. Okay. Spend an extra, what, 40000 something and buy this dude here. You know, it's 92000 or 96 something. 96 bucks. Yeah, 96000 But uh, it'll be worth it. 
that way you can plant and fertilize at the same time. You don't have to worry about plowing your fields. I mean, collating your fields. Now, you do have to plow your fields. That's the big difference. I think you start out with something like one of these here. I would recommend buying this in here. But I, I'd keep these because you start out with a small tractor. But as soon as you get a, a bigger tractor, buy the 22,000 Amazon plow. That or I would recommend buying one of these folks. Buy the small one first. Because these come all the way out to the end. They don't leave no points. Alright, Jason's going to be done first. And Boo's coming up the end with the whole full header. <laughs> I can't say that word right either, but there's something about these headers that makes me laugh. All right, can't beat that. And definitely can't beat that. No turning around or nothing. That's perfect. You done. There you go. Got to wait in line. And almost, almost, almost. Three, two, one. Done. Oh, I'm unloading in the auger wagon when I could just unload it into the trailers. We're going to go over here to our loft here. we got the fresh washer right there. And uh, for a pressure wash these guys off and might just leave them down here. Because uh, ain't no sense in taking them all the way back to the shop. You know, we just uh, take them over to field 25 and park them on the shed and just start there. GoMad still has a demand for set fires. Okay. Prices on our beans are still down. I hope that don't go uh, great demand from prices being down. That would suck. Alright folks, we're going to go just a little bit over. Uh, yeah, we're just going to go a little bit over here. I'm going to bebop, make sure everything is down and out of the way. Uh, I think it's been a pretty good episode. Uh, we got the harvest done. That's what matters. Uh, I don't want to block the roadway because we need some. I don't know if this will uh, do it or not. Let's see. I don't think it will. No, it won't. Hooey. I need to see, I know how much straw is in there, but I need to see this pipes. Alright, uh, let's get this guy off the ramp here and pull him over. We're going to park him right there for now. I'm trying to, oh, go ahead and take. Actually, we need to go this way. Whoa! Watch it, Caroline! Woo! Well, we almost went off in the ditch, didn't we? Oh, but I put that one out in the field. There you go. I guess I'm going to start about right here. Alright, here we go. All trader oh oh I almost messed up. Almost messed up, didn't I? That's part of life too, you know. Nobody's perfect. I'm 
got to deal with what you've done and move on. It's like my past. I, I made a bunch of mistakes in my past. You know, I'm not happy with. But you just you can't let that hold you down. You know, cause if you do, you're gonna go crazy thinking about it. You know, if it's in the past, it's in the past. You just have to make best of what you got now. You know, things happen. All right, I'm gonna get this guy on up here, and then I'm gonna move that combine. I guess I'll just put this guy over here in the line to be washed. All right, too good. I'm gonna back him out of the way. Just have to put him in the line to be washed. Put away. Find that. Aha. Uh -huh. We need to get him up there and uh, see, let me check this out. 104,000. I think we got the go, and go up to yeah, 200,000. This should put us up there where we're full of soybeans. And since our prices don't drop when we got a great demand, that's one reason why we need to wait. And I need to buy one more trailer. We got four. I really need to buy two more. I think this guy can handle it as long as we don't go up no hills. Although that's what it looks like we're doing here. But it all depends on will we get a demand from it. Uh, Pacific Grain would probably be the best place to get a demand from of this coast. I'm trying to scoot over, I'm trying to scoot over. Took your sign out to save the car. Woohoo! I am good, good, good. Let's see, can we uh, do it for the thumbnail? There we go. Don't know which arm I'm going to use. I, I like to take three or four because sometimes you take one and you're like, oh my god, what did I do there? It just don't turn out like you want it to be. Alrighty. First trailer. That weeder's going strong. I need to get that guy in and service quick. much better. Alright. Check out make sure they're all set to the back door and not the green door. Alright, how close are we getting guys? I'm gonna get on the right one. Ooh, 183,000. It's not gonna take all of it. Nope, that's it. Okay. Well, we're gonna leave that there. 
Uh, we need some more money. Honey. Let's see here. We're going to... Yes, our soybeans are full. We need another grain silo badly. Let's see. Let's do our corn. I want to do a solar panel, but I want to do a grain silo. Now, about 15,000 should... I don't know. I'm going to put more than that in there. We can always bring it back. Oops. I say we need a good half of a load, folks, for the pigaroos. Probably about right there. Yeah, we need another grain silo. That'd help us out a lot. Get a great demand. We don't have to worry about the prices dropping. So we can stack up on soybeans. And let's use the other crops we do to... Uh, to uh, take care of this stuff. All right, we're gonna head on up to the piggies. I should have took the other way, but I didn't. And then, folks, I guess we're going to end the episode when we we'll get up here. Uh, be sure and put in the comments uh, if you want to see me do anything. Uh, I've done the poplars, which I want to do more of. Uh, that's one thing I need to check on before I spend all the money to make sure we got a planner for the poplars. Oh, I forgot about that field right there. I just want to do it too. So much stuff to do, folks. Oh, this is going to be tight. I'm going to let them back in behind them here. Come on, little guy. Come on. Hang out all day. All right. Undo. Wow. I'm glad I got a half a load. I took the whole thing. I'm going to park him right here then. Let's check him out. Wow, folks. Wow. They was hungry. Alright, our next thing is water. Look there. Our animal reproductive rate on sheep is 4 hours and 48. That dropped a lot. Look at the animal rate on pigs, folks. It's not even an hour. So, every hour, a little less than every hour, we're getting a pig. I wish the cows were that way. It's 6 hours on the cows. Or, I mean, 14 hours. So, that ain't bad. But yeah, I want to get some more cows next thing around. Get them up to about 200. And keep the pigs around 200. That's going to be our money maker now. Is like anything over 200 we sell. I, I like to get those, uh, the pigs down to like every 30 minutes. That would be neat. Just think of how much stuff we'd need them. So we'll have to plan ahead quite a bit. All right, folks, that's going to conclude this episode. All we got to do now, I'm going to think I'm going to finish the weedies out. All right. Uh, Caroline's doing pretty good. I got to check on uh, Leia and uh, see where she's at. She should be done with that field by now. Hmm. Yeah, she's done with that field. And, uh, I just check, make sure that no spots get missed. You know how our peppers are sometimes. Okay, we're looking good. Uh, we got seven. Oh, well, we got ten. 
I gotta check on 10. I can't remember what's been done up there. I think it's been plowed. I think. But 17, 10, 17, 21, 25, and 27, 28. So we're doing pretty good there. Uh, let's see here. I forgot which one. I'm going to show y'all something right before I'm going to leave. Get her started here. And, uh, what was I going to do? Oh, the water. That still ain't changed, but that's going to be the next episode, folks. We're going to sell the wool and, uh, probably some more pigs. I'll probably fast forward it a little bit. Oh yeah, folks. That's much better, better area right there. I gotta remember that. I definitely got to remember that because cows are right there. And that's real close. Or actually, cows are right there. Can't beat that. Oh, there's another spot right there. Right behind the diner. Y'all help me remember that. Let's see, I can squeeze through here. All right, folks, be sure and hit that like button. Share me with your friends. Subscribe. And if you have subscribed, please push uh, turn on my push notifications. But that way you can get uh, updates on my video as soon as they come out. And uh, I bet it's going to take every bit of this water to fill the cows up. We're going to get on up here in the money and stuff. I will put a, a water spigot probably right there at the edge of the building. Um, but anyway, folks. Uh, yeah, I guess it's time for us to get out of here. I can turn that back on now. There's a... Uh, I think got all the eggs. There I go. Oh, there's one. And uh, next time, or remind me, I'm going to try to go sell these eggs. Uh, check out my Ghost Rider there, folks. I love it. All right, folks, I got to get off here. And uh, thank you for watching. And uh, please come back next episode as we uh, start doing our plan and, uh, and whatnot. So, see, we got a cultivator there. And what else we got? We got our coin heads there. And yeah. Alright, I'm going to go in here, get my class tea, something to eat for breakfast. And uh, yeah, we shall see y'all next time. Thank you for watching. This has been uh, Farming Simulator 17. At Go Crest Valley. Oh, I got the shakes or something. Look at there. Oh, I'm standing on the pot. No wonder. <laughs> anyway, I've been Go Crest Valley here at Mr. Blue Farms. And I uh, thank all y'all for watching. And uh, please come back and join me next time, folks. Later. Bye.